Uncle Deke here with another one in the uh, mini pop wing uh, series. Now we're going to put the FPV equipment on it. But before you do that, you need to fly it. You have to fly it this way first. So you may have seen the maiden flight of this. A couple of clicks of trim is all we had to do. So I know in this particular configuration that it flies well, okay? So knowing that, we can find the CG by not what they say it's supposed to be, but what it actually is. So I'm going, if I hold my fingers right here, it tips back. If I hold my fingers right here, it tips forward. So I need to find the place where it is pretty close to right on the money. You can see here that that's pretty level. A little bit of nose down, a tiny bit of nose down is good for a wing. Okay, a little bit of nose. Remember, uh, nose heavy plane flies a little harder, tail heavy plane flies once. Okay, so by doing this, we know where the CG is. Now we can turn it over and mark it. So I had Lana mark this for me, and I put some stickers on there that shows where it is. And the instructions say it's somewhere around the back end of this compartment right here. So if we hold this right on the back end of that compartment, you can see that it is pretty much bang on the CG. Okay. Somebody asked how we do that. That's exactly, fly it. Make sure it flies well. Then put your fingers under it, get it to balance, mark it, and see where it's at. I'm going to leave these smiley face stickers on there to tell me where the CG is from now on. And I'm going to leave this battery in there to tell me where it is from now on. So what we're going to do now is add the FPV components on here. First I want to show you how much it weighs. So we're going to turn this on, we're going to weigh everything in grams. So, zoom in on the, we get 218 grams as it sits. Now, for Dave, he wants to keep it under 250 grams, which is going to be very possible. Now, with 218 grams, we could save weight by putting in a smaller ESC. At the time I bought this one, it's the only thing I could find. I bought it quick. It's probably twice as heavy as it needs to be. You could go to a smaller receiver, or if you wanted to use a receiver like this, take the plastic case off of it. It could save you weight. There's lots of things you can do to save weight. So, let's start back with this. We get back here to where we were. Okay, 218. I'm going to use the Fox Ear 600 milliwatt 5.8 transmitter. And I'm going to put this on there. So we're going to add the weight to it. So we got 228 now. I'm going to add a very small camera. And it won't necessarily be this one, but one very much like it. So we're going to add that on there. Now we have to add a antenna, and we can weigh these out, but this one would work, but it's pretty heavy. This one would work, but it's pretty heavy. This one would be alright, and it's one that I like, still a little heavy. So what I do, and I'll show you in another video, I take these antennas, which look like 
this, when I get them, they have this cover on them. I cut this cover off. Actually, I cut the cord, the cable, and I throw the bottom part away. I throw that part away, and I take the top off, and I make my own antenna. These have to be re-soldered anyhow. These typically are not made very well, so I re-solder them. So I take this part right here, and I make my own antennas. And I'll show you how I do that. But this is what they call semi-rigid coax. And you can bend it and bend it back. So this is the antenna that I'm going to use on this plane right here. Now I like to use these things because I can plug into the balance port on the battery and it has a built-in filter for the video and it makes it real simple. So we're going to add this on here. Now what do we have? 252 grams. We're only 2 grams over the 250 limit. There's lots of ways we can reduce that. Uh, we can cut our wires shorter, we can deal with the receiver, the ESC, but we're awful close. It's very possible to keep this under 250 grams. So this is where we're going to start with our FPV equipment. The next video we're going to show you how to install it and the steps. It's actually very simple. I started putting this uh, thought together yesterday and how I was going to do it. And I thought to myself, I about got this finished. I better make the video first because it's pretty simple. This has got to be grassroots FPV simple. So next step, we're going to install the FPV equipment and see what we have. See you then.